It's frightening. Don't act like it isn't. Don't run away from it. What is cheat sheet? Not only am I going to tell you week after week after week why it is so fucking important that we vote for Joe Biden this year, but also we're going to provide you a cheat sheet to help elect progressive candidates down the ballot in all the swing states. Today's episode is North Carolina. Yes. My guests today are two peas in a pod. They are hashtag relationship goals and have really stepped up this election cycle to use their social media, not only to get information out about this life or death election, but also what I appreciate so much to show exactly how to do it, exactly how to exercise your democracy. You know her as a playwright and actress. She wrote the play A Mom's Life, and my favorite credit of hers is from the Babysitter's Club, Mrs. Cummings. And you know him as Saul Berenson in Homeland, Inigo Montoya from The Princess Bride, as George from Sunday in the Park with George, and my favorite, Avigdor from Yentl. Your proxy parents on Instagram, give it up for Catherine Grady and Mandy Patinkin! Hello! <laughs> That's my favorite introduction ever. You are relationship goals. How long have you been together? 72 42. years. Well, yeah, 42 going on 72. It depends on the day. 42 years. God bless you two. Mazel tov. You're a beautiful couple. And you're bringing so much joy. Information, yes, but like joy and warmth to young people. And thank you for stepping up and giving yourselves to the world in this way. How are you feeling this election cycle? It feels so high stakes. And I want to know from you, is that accurate? Well, uh, for me, it feels incredibly invigorating, extremely positive. I caution everyone not to pay an ounce of attention to any polls. Work your butt off till the last second because everything has to happen to make sure that we win. There's no plan B. There's just plan A for every cause you care about to get Biden and Harris in and get a, a rebirth and a, and a healing to begin for our nation and the world at large. And it can recover and it can be healed. I don't want it to get any worse than this. I want this to be the bottom and we will spend the rest of our lives certainly reclaiming decency. I have full chills from your mouth to God's ears. I know a lot of young people feel Biden wasn't their favorite candidate. So what? We don't often get the perfect choice. Sometimes we do. And sometimes the best thing to do is just inch forward. This is inching forward. It's repudiating this disgraceful way of representing our country. And what can I say after that, Ilana? <laughs> I am actually thrilled about the policies that I've seen from Biden. So we start off, started off not stoked. We got a little educated. We're getting stoked. We're going to vote Biden in by a landslide, but then we're going to ride Biden left, left, left. The real work is going to begin after the election. So tell me, what do you see in Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Why are you guys stoked to vote? Joe and Kamala, who's half that team, know better than anyone, we are not leaving anyone behind. Anybody on that platform and all the people they represent. It doesn't take a village, it takes a nation of citizens that are constituents of all those people that were running to represent us. And they will insist and ride Joe Biden's tails to make sure that everybody is represented the way Bernie wanted and Elizabeth Warren wanted. And the list goes on and on and on. So I'm stoked by that. And I'm stoked by him keeping his promise about a woman vice president. You know, and she is one powerful lady. I just ordered a mask that said I'm speaking, by the way. Just want you guys to know. I love it. You know, I love that was one of the most powerful things. I am very excited about the duo. And I do believe progressives, they will listen. I want to talk about North Carolina. So you shot a lot of Homeland in North Carolina. What would you think of Carolina? I like it. I love Asheville, uh, and I enjoyed Charlotte a lot, and I, I love 12 Bones Barbecued Ribs, two locations in Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> what we love more than anything about North Carolina... I wanted to say that. ...is what my wife is going to tell you right now. <laughs> well, I... 
see, you, you see that. I know what he was about to say, but that was what I wanted to say. What we love most about North Carolina, Raleigh in particular, is that is the birthplace of our, as of a week ago Saturday, October 10th, daughter in love's birthplace, Lennon. Let's check out the stakes. We have to gain four seats, keep them all, the Democratic Senate seats, but gain four to gain majority in the Senate, which is so important. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Let's get down to the down ballot candidates. So one of these U.S. Senate races is Cal Cunningham. At 27, Cunningham was elected as one of the youngest North Carolina state senators and then took a break to go serve in the military. Hello. He currently serves as a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserve. The guy wants to give access to affordable health care to North Carolinians. He wants to invest in public education and paying teachers what they're worth. And he wants to attack climate change and protect North Carolina's beautiful natural environment. You please donate to Cal Cunningham and make sure he's elected and tell 10's friends to vote for him. So for Cabarrus County, House District 82, this is for State House. Amy Steele is challenging a Republican incumbent. She ran for the same seat in 2018, lost by 5% or 2,000 votes. That's nothing. And she didn't give up. She's a former elementary school principal, has five children, and her husband is a pastor at the New Life Baptist Church in Concord. If elected, she will advocate for increasing education spending and funding. North Carolina currently ranks 39th in state funding for schools, and she wants to lower health care costs and address the opioid crisis. She's been endorsed by Emily's List, Swing Left, Sierra Club, and the AFL-CIO, the Union of Unions. Well, and, and Catherine and Mandy endorse Amy Steele. And I am so glad because somehow I missed Amy on the radar. And what you just said to me was so exciting. Commit, Commit to, to vote, vote and, and make, make a, a voting plan. plan. <laughs> we need you. The older folks need you. Please go here to volunteer to work for the polls. A generator video has a simple format to make it easy to use your social media to talk about politics and government and humanize policy. I'm Catherine. I'm Mandy. New York. Upstate New York. Catherine Brody. Mandy Patinkin. Voter suppression. It has astounded me all. I've learned about it. That has to go. It has to be made easier for every single person to vote. To get to the polls, Dropbox, for absentee and for in-person. Short answer, suppression of the vote. That has to change. North Carolina, vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. We need civility, we need decency, we need empathy. We need representative people in that White House that listen and will bring back humanity, art, culture, family, humor, and maybe even a vegetable or two. So please, North Carolina, vote for that ticket. We need to save our democracy. Thank you for voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Your grandchildren will thank you. Feeling extra? Extra. Extra. If you are young and you are healthy, volunteer to work the polls this November. That is the best thing you can do to save our democracy. Power to the polls. Must see Thursdays. They were talking about cheat sheets. See you Thursday.